Today we're going to Sofana, the city of the dead, which is located far south in the Gredian Desert, right on the edge of the map. You will need to progress far enough into Iklerin's little helper in order to enter the city. A bank and some shops will be opened after contact quests, and banking is highly recommended for this method. To save some clicking work and an inventory spot, you should have done the easy Kandarin Diaries. This rewards you with the Kandarin headgear which acts as a light source that does not fail. If your light source goes out, it will switch to the first spot available in your inventory and you'll need to relight as fast as possible and rearrange it. Just bring one dose of water skin to travel to Sofanum or you can take a bit of damage. I will use a Polnivnich teleport to get to Sofanum quicker. Before we move on to the supplies, let me just show you the map. We'll need to go all the way south. You can either teleport to the dueling arena and take the carpet to Polnivnich at the Shanty Pass. I will just teleport myself outside my house in Polnivnich and take the carpet to Sofana. You could also teleport to Nada with the teleport scroll or the amulet from the Desert Diaries or use the fairy ring code DLQ and run to Sofana. For the setup, I highly suggest wearing a ring of wealth to collect the coin drops as these scabarides do drop over 2k GP at once. Also ranged gear with high defensive stats against melee and magic. I will look at the amount of supplies spent at the end of the trip so I can just take it off the final price. You should bring high tier food like manta rays or karam ones. You could get poisoned by a scarab swarm so maybe bring some antidote as well. I will mainly take super defense potions with me, super ranging potions and prayer potions. Besides that, we're going to cannon the Scabrites as well. Bring some high alchemy runes with you, a bone crusher for some free prey XP, a herb sack and some gold to pay the carpet and to stack up with the coin drops using the Ring of Wealth. I'll meet you in Sofenum then. Arrived at Sofenum, you may drop your water skin. Let's go to the bank and prepare our trip. We'll keep protect from missiles and eagle eye on the whole time, so we'll need to use some prayer potions for that. Once you're ready, climb down the trapdoor. Make sure you have a light source with you. If you're using rune light, add the scarab mages to NPC indicators, as we will need to kill these ones first. They deal the most damage and can hit up to 17s. That's why we're wearing high magic defense armor. Before we go down the second ladder, first search the floors for traps. You can get unlucky with this and get around 20 damage either way. So pot up and enable protect from missiles. Make sure to kill the scarab mages first. Most of the time you will be picking up loot and clicking on the scarab mages. You could highlight base and lob so that the mages drop. Here you see poison scarab swarm spawn. When you hear this sound, the Scarab Mages use their special attack, your light source will go out and you will need to relight it as quickly as possible. If you have the Kandarin headgear in your inventory, there's no need to panic. Most item drops are noted and you can see the money flowing into the inventory. I did not bang the loot just to make the price check easier at the end and after 20 minutes I noticed that I did not start the 1 hour timer but I had a stopwatch running. I decided to do 30 minutes of killing Scabrites and... Yeah, that's it. 30 minutes done. Uh, let's just tell you out. Yep, 
we managed to get almost 115k ranged XP. Let's sell the loot at the GE. 859k, excluding our supplies, so let's buy our supplies back. We do have 489k left, let's say roughly 39k for food and potions. That makes it 450k in 30 minutes. I did forget to sell the herbs from the herb sack, so they were around 35k. So we ended up with 485k in total, which equals almost a million GP per hour with the 150k range XP at level 86 range. For you to decide whether you would take the unpopular, risky but profitable trading spot. That's it for the video and I'll see you in the next one.